This is my K1 Max with the CFS upgrade installed. And this is the Flowtech hot end from MicroSwiss. And I'm about to install it, so let's go. For the newer model K1 Maxes, you'll have two screws right here at the bottom, like mine. And yours should not be loose like this. No wonder I had layer issues. And if you have the older K1, you'll have a screw in the back on the back side of the heat sink towards the back of the printer. So if you have a K1 Max and it's the older one, you're going to want to use this one. And if you have the newer one, it's labeled and it'll be this one. It comes with thermal paste and you'll want to apply a little bit towards the bigger end. Once installed, it should look something like this. So on the newer K1 Max, you'll have these small screws. And then again, if you have the old one, you'll be using the bigger screws over here. Once you get the screws tightened down, the hot end will still be loose. Once you install the nozzle, that'll tighten it up and make sure you have the wires pointing towards the back. Now you'll simply plug in your two wires again, install your nozzle, and you're ready to run a bed calibration.